Hey, Bob, are you going to try to post it on Facebook? It is I on have Facebook. in the Shredders United. Yeah. I'm trying to make Heather. Oh, a you co-host. did? Make sure, Bob, just make sure when you go to publish it, make sure you change that little lock button from, uh, it'll say only me, and then you change it to public. Otherwise, nobody can see it. Is that off of Zoom? It's when you click on that, you know how you click on uh, share to at the very, at the very to, end. Yep. It's published to Facebook, but it's, it's right when you're putting in the name of the call and the notes, and then you're about to click, you know, broadcast. It's right there. You've got to change a little setting every time. Can you go back and do it? You might have to just no. kill, kill the, you can probably just kill the live and just start again. Because if you yeah, didn't change that Facebook setting. Already. Oh, is it live on? I mean, it says that, but I see it. Yeah, someone yeah, gone and it on on my phone. Facebook? yeah we're, wow. we're good. All right, we're good to go. All right, welcome everybody to Shredders Unite Business Call Thursday night, new edition. So excited. My name's Bob Sivright, and I've been very luckily blessed by Sean and Jesse to uh, give a shot at these calls. A little nervous, so I had to go big. So I went with uh, a wonderful candidate tonight. Her name is Lisa Oaken, and she is amazing. And the reason why I selected her is, like many of us, uh, she comes from an experienced background with not only um, this company, this, these, this product line that we're involved with, but she's also had a, I'd say, a rebirth or a new awakening. And uh, Lisa Oaken, are you there? I'm here. Fantastic. Why, well, first of all, to introduce yourself, you started the, 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 with, these, with our products back in like 2008, eight nine. You're a mother of four boys, now all grown, right? I think you said between the ages of 22 and 26? Yep, 18, 18 and 26. And not only that, you are busy in terms of selling health insurance, as well as you work at, temporarily at the school as a crossing guard. Um, obviously, you were probably active with your boys with sports and all of that. And I think this is going to be a fascinating conversation because I thought I was busy. Um, I know what I was like as a boy and my brother, and we about killed my mom, I think. But <laughs> I don't know how you did it with four boys. But Lisa, tell us, how did you first find out about um, n- nutritional intermittent fasting and health and wellness? I mean, is this something been a, has this been a passion of yours? Yes, um, I was introduced to this um, by my mom, um, my best friend and business partner. Um, and I was introduced to this by her in 2008 when she got started on it. And in 2009, I think right over the first of the year, I got involved uh, after she shared it with me and I saw what it did for her in like three weeks time. I jumped on board and um, dove right in and the results were amazing. And it was a, an amazing culture that I wanted a, to be a part of. Um, unfortunately, I lost my mom just a couple years ago um, to colon cancer. Mm-hmm. And I know her biggest, biggest dream was for me to be, to go full, full throttle and do everything I could to be a success. And she knew she had all the belief in me and wanted to see me, you know, change lives. Well, Lisa, I'm so sorry to hear that. And and it's tragic. And um, I know you and I talked, I had my grandmother passed away of colon cancer. And it's just one of those ugly diseases that there's just nothing good about it. But um, like in all things, if we can find passion or drive or, um, a purpose in all of this, um, would you say, is this driving you today in terms of building your business with, I, with, um, ER shred? Yes, absolutely. Um, I, you know, always been full heart into what I'm doing and sharing this, um, amazing opportunity culture, um, with anybody that I came in touch with. Um, I totally, live this lifestyle. I share it wherever I go, um, in the pockets of my life, even though, even though I am such, you know, a busy person, but busy is good and it's all positive. And I just want to share with everybody that I come in contact, no matter where I am. So one of the things, and I know I could just jump right on in and, 
um, launch the, the, the questions, but um, I think to lay, to lay the land, literally what we've done here with Air Shred is that it started with a passion. It started with Sean and Crystal Escobar actually on their own adventure, or I would say a journey of discovery to figure out how they could get themselves in better health. And honestly, from an onlooker for the last 17 years, I always thought Sean and Crystal were in phenomenal shape, had no idea the issues that they were dealing with. And I think that quite often it happens. We, we kind of hide behind the curtain, so to speak, and we don't let the real, real world in. So, you know, in terms of what are we really challenged with, what we're dealing with. The purpose of ER Shred um, is really to support others in getting the very best results. But in talking with Sean and Crystal early on, they also wanted to create something that was simple, that was duplicatable. But what Sean, what stood out to me is Sean said, I'm really good at building community. I'm really good at that. And I want to build an environment that resembles the days of old when we first started with the vision of John Anderson, and that is to change people's lives one person at a time by basically paying it forward. So that's the foundation of ER Shred. Um, in terms of how it all came together, I could say that was divinely inspired. It was several different pieces that just happened to fit together at the right magical time, along with Sean and Crystal doing an elimination diet. And that's the part that's a real head scratcher for me because we've all dealt with our issues, be it, um, you know, not, a, not just culprits, but our cravings. You know, some people are, I'm a salty, crunchy snack eater, more or less. Some people are sugar eaters and so on. And a lot of it relates to carbs. So I think that the idea or concept of eliminating carbs on the front end, um, it's just genius. And when I sit back and I look at it, I think, oh my God, let's just say, for example, if we were dealing, you know, if we were dealing with an addiction and I, I could choose one, I, let's just say alcohol. If I said you could have alcohol Monday through Friday, but we're going to detox on the weekends, would we ever get you through that addiction? And the answer is no. So when I look at what I have done in the past 17 years is I've always had that battle of I'm feeling good, but then I fall off the wagon, I'm getting back on again, but I'm always dealing with my vices and, you know, be it wine or salsa or chips. I mean, I've, I've done it all, but the idea of eating healthy 80% of the time and 20% of the time, it's okay to go off. And I won't use the word cheat just the one time, Jesse, but to have my uh, basically some fun in the sun and enjoy life, I'll just 20% of the time, I'll just kind of go off the rails. That 20% in hindsight wasn't, uh, was not serving me. So getting back to what Sean and Crystal found is that they discovered by putting peanut, I like to call it peanut butter and jelly, but by putting the system together, we found magic and I call it magic in a bottle. I, I literally think that when you find something that's this good, you never want to let it go. So the purposes of tonight's call is how are we going to support others in sharing their story? And that's where ershred.biz um, started to be developed, if you will. We now have a website. So if you haven't seen it, please go to ershred.biz, B-I-Z. Um, it's still in, in a work in progress, but the foundation simply is we want to help people to show them how to share authentically from the heart with integrity and, you know, not be weird about it. You know, I don't look at this as a business, but from my perspective, if I can show people how to get their products paid for, then it's sustainable, then I think we can benefit more people. We can grow what we like Jesse refers to as Shredder Nation. So for the purposes of tonight, Lisa, I think it would be really good if I could dive back to 2008 in terms of where were you when your mom introduced you to Isogenics initially, the core program that is, where were you from a mindset standpoint? Were you looking for a nutritional system at that time? Did you do it just to kind of just appease your mom and say, okay, mom, I'll support you? Where, where were you, Lisa, prior to 2008? Uh, I've always been in, into um, fitness I've been active and athletic my whole life. And, you know, anything that my mom would share with me or I would share with her, we were both usually, you know, on board. Uh, you know, I might've been a little skeptic, but at the same time, if my mom suggested it and I, for myself, saw the results that she was getting, I was on board. And then of course I wanted to, you know, begin this healthy lifestyle in my house, raising four boys um, it was definitely something, you know, that I was interested in. 
So as soon as I saw what happened with my mom and my stepdad at the time, I said, you know what, I'm diving in. It was three weeks later and we got started on this healthy lifestyle. And now it's just uh, short of 13 years. And I would um, follow the 30 day system, um, doing my two shakes and healthy snacks and healthy meal. And I loved it and I've been living that pretty solid for almost 13 years. Uh, and then, um, and then of course, you know, my mom was getting great success. I was great getting great success and we just wanted to share it because of what was happening. So back then, uh, from starting on the nutrition system, I lost, um, I guess it was about 11 pounds. It wasn't like a weight kind of thing for me. I lost 11 pounds and I guess, in my younger days, it was a little bit maybe chunky, but I was never like overweight per se. And, um, and that's where I went with it, just like for health purposes. And it made me feel amazing. It kept, you know, my body alkaline and it was great for my family. So my kids having a shake a day, they've been drinking a shake a day every day for the past almost 13 years. And how, for boys, how was that great. with uh, the four teenagers, with the four boys? Was that was an good. easy transition good. to get them on the shakes? Yes, I feel like the earlier you start, the better before their palate, you know, adjusts to the, to the sweets and whatnot. Of course, you know, my kids weren't little, little, but you know, they jumped on and now my kids use, you know, a shake or two every day, whether it be, um, and one of them does, you know, a little bit of the shred with me as well. So I wish I could have shared the shred with my mom because she would have definitely enjoyed it. She always loved the good, good juicy steak. <laughs> so before I get going uh, any further than this, I need to do the disclaimers and get that out of the way. So I know we're going to get into some, some claims. Um, hopefully we'll be compliant with everything. But first of all, these products aren't designed to treat, cure, diagnose, or prevent any diseases. Uh, they've not been approved by the FDA. They're just, they're, they're food products. They're, they're grass approved. In other words, generally uh, considered as safe. So um, with that said, the company's been around for 19 and a half years. They've done well over, I think now 8 billion in sales. So it's quite a significant company. Um, lots of success stories, but as we approach now seven years, I know your mom, mother was dealing with her illness. Um, I know that had to take as, as with anybody that had, it was stress on the family that had to take a toll on you. I'm sure it took a toll on both your business and your health, but where were you prior to ER shred? I mean, and were you looking for something new? Uh, where were you with, with, with the business of ice, you know, um, I was still sharing, um, mm -hmm. following the system, two shakes a day, even while taking care of my mom, it was so important to both of us. And that is one thing that never, ever stopped was getting her, you know, two shakes every day to give her that energy. And there's nothing cleaner. Like, I mean, I remember her being in the hospital and they wanted to give her the, um, what do you call it in, in the hospital? I can't think of what it's called. And I said, absolutely not. I came to the hospital with my packets of shake and made her the shakes in the hospital. So and not so much sugar-free shakes. I know there's, <laughs> nothing, there's nothing like what we have here in the way of um, clean nutrition. And there's nothing, you know, like that was one thing. I made her a shake every morning. I would go over to her house. And then later on in the afternoon, she would have another shake. And... There's nothing. Can I ask you this? How was your mother introduced to this? How did she find? Um, someone company? else in a, uh, another network marketing uh, company that she had known introduced her to it. But um, Carol and Peter Taylor had um, been her leaders because that person was no longer involved. So anytime we needed help, Carol and Peter were there to help us. And we're very thankful for that. They're, they're amazing. Uh, it, this incredible people. In fact, that was that I have to just laugh because I still have that uh, branded on my brain, Peter Ullman's uh, 30 day transition the, before 15 days and 30 days after in his Speedo, right. <laughs> the Peter right. Speedo picture. I think yeah. that's how the whole company, that's how that we shared. A, that was um, definitely a great transformation. <laughs> I have my, uh, 
I joked because I had so much inflammation as a stockbroker. I don't know, drinking coffee, and obviously I was a pretty toxic human being. But I had kind of the Jay Leno, no offense, Jay Leno, if you're watching this evening, but I had the Jay Leno, Ted Kennedy kind of uh, fat face. And that went away, and my daughter was kind enough to show me how to do a picolage. And that, that is my original before picture. But I didn't have the um, – I was not brave like Peter. Obviously, I didn't see the vision, and it didn't catch – for me – um, I wanted to help the person who sponsored me. I wanted to make sure that he was having success. I was kind of an outsider looking in, but I had my own personal development issues in terms of just programs. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do one of these things. And I had my own issues. I kind of basically just kept arm's length for a good five, six years. About the time when you stepped in was I finally looked at it after seeing five, six years of people having enormous success. I'm like, huh. Maybe there's something to this. So I'm a late bloomer. But what I look at um, when I was introduced to ERS Red, it was like many of you, it was probably because I saw Sean Escobar's um, doing his, you know, his videos. And I'm like, what are you up to? Now, all this time, we were talking about having a simplified system. We were talking about incubating the shakes, adding bone broth. He never shared with me until September about, you know, the elimination diet that he had gone through. And so I'm kind of blown away. When was it that you were, you know, made aware of ER Shred? October of 2020. Uh, I was um, in between um, my jobs and I had been looking on Facebook and um, Instagram and I saw some posts from Sean and Crystal and Jesse and I uh, was in touch with both of them, had heard what they had to say and I went home and I placed an order and I ordered everything to start the 11 day shred and I've never looked back. So I've done. Now, I have to ask you this, because I know you've been an athlete and you've been in a healthy, healthy minded individual for years and years prior. Um, did it scare you at all about doing all red meat? No, I not at all. No, I mean, you know, I, I like the whole grass fed thing and mm -hmm. I know there's um, something to good animal fats and that there are a lot of health benefits to it. And I trusted what Sean and Crystal and Jesse had to say. And, you know, I'm not a person, I'm, I'm positive and I trusted what they had to say. And I said, what, what can happen? You know, the worst that can happen is it doesn't agree, you know, but I decided <laughs> I'm gonna go home, I'm ordering it, I'm starting it. And that was the end of it. And I've never looked back. It's been uh, four e-shreds e later. <laughs> and I'm You're, really, uh, really enjoying it. No, that's amazing. I wish I, could, I wish I could say the same. Um, I'm always the person that wants to get the first new thing, the first new gadget, the first new iPhone, whatever. I got to be like a first, you know, whatever, an early adopter. I got to be there, right? Right. But when it came to this program, because I had done a couple other uh, variations, counting macros and so forth, and kind of messed myself up. I got away from the actual nutritional fast for about a year that didn't do me any good. <laughs> but my only reason in mentioning this is that I think we're all different. We're all unique when we're introduced to a new concept or something that's unique, that's different. It's almost, this is almost way out there, but you came in early enough before we really had a shredder nation, before there was so much energy and hundreds and thousands of people having amazing results. You were an early adopter, probably before me. I didn't start until October 23rd, but I literally had to go watch Sean. I knew Sean and Crystal were having success, but that's Sean and Crystal, right? You know, Sean's always been in the gym and always looked good. Um, but I had to let, literally, I had to let Randy and Tony Escobar go first and watch them and make sure that they were okay. And then luckily they took a phone call from me and I was able to call them up and say, so are you going, how are you feeling? You okay? What do you think? So I, I guess my, the whole reason in mentioning this is that for our audience is that I think we're all unique. We're all different, but we all come to it for different reasons. I think there's a lot of people probably even tonight watching this that still have their arms folded or have questions, but let's just say this, you jump right in. Um, what was your experience initially? Did it surprise you? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you expected to get good results seeing Sean and Crystal, but what yeah. happened? So I, I mean, I saw Sean and Crystal, I saw Jesse, I spoke to Susan and you know, I just, when I jumped in, I was just so excited to see what the finish line was gonna bring me and what was gonna change. And the changes were 
pretty, um, pretty drastic for me because it changed my body. My body really hadn't made any change since the beginning of, you know, starting this nutritional system as it was. So changing to, you know, Isoline Pro where you're getting 36 grams twice a day and incubating it. Wow. Going from a hundred percent absorption to like, you know, 450% absorption. That's like amazing. Um, so that was a big change. The, the bone broth was a big change. Um, the snack wafers. I always struggle with the snack. We, we call the Scooby snacks. I always struggled with them. The ER shred has made it so much easier for me to like have adjusted to that. And I'm really enjoy, you know, enjoying it. And then everything that I'm making food wise at home with the grass fed beef, the grass fed butter, the Himalayan sea salt and the collagen, you know, the bone broth. Everything I'm eating, I'm serving to my family. I'm not a short order cook. Everybody's, you know, nobody's a baby here. <laughs> so they're all eating it. And I'm ordering, you know, the meat from ButcherBox. My kids are like, oh my God, this filet is amazing, you know? So it's been, it's been a hit in my house and everybody's eating what I'm eating. So it makes it easy. And I- well, I'm what was your transition? What was your transformation? I should say. So, yeah, I was just going to say, so I've done, um, I did my first shred and it, I was down about, uh, 11 pounds. I think it was about nine inches. And then, um, to date, um, down like 16 pounds, 14 and a half inches. And I did, uh, four shreds. Uh, the second one I ran into my older son getting married that wedding weekend. So, I kind of slipped there, but I knew that was going to happen, but I didn't care. I wanted to just continue doing what I was doing because I was focused and it's been amazing. I mean, I feel good. I've got, you know, I always have energy. Everyone's like, Lisa, you have so much energy, but there's a lot of clarity. Um, I, I, I love it. <laughs> I can't say enough about it. I just, it's one but of those did things you have, I have to ask this. Did you have like a, a, like for me, I had brain fog. I mean, honestly, it, it, I have said this before. I'm sure I read it and I've heard it from others, but we have no, we have no way of knowing how good you can feel. Just we have our life experience. So pre ER shred, I would say I was probably an eight. Yeah. I've got some bloat, got this going on, but you know, I'm pretty healthy. I've been doing this for, you know, six, 16 and a half years. I feel good. Right. However, like day seven or eight, my mind literally, it, it, I feel like someone took a vacuum cleaner and vacuumed the plaque out of my brain. I literally felt like I woke up like Sean right. said, and right. I couldn't identify what he was saying with me, no matter how much you'd say, dude, can't you just give me some love and trust me on this? You're going to feel great. I'm like, I already feel great. You know, anyway, long and short is I had that aha moment, seven, day seven, eight. I know it hits us all differently. Right. When, did you have a, a transformation like that where it just kind of lit you up? As yeah. Jesse would say, you get lit. Yeah, definitely. I think mine was like somewhere around like day eight, nine, 10 in there. Um, I definitely lost the bloat. Um, at the end of my first shred, um, I had walked into my sister's house and my sister said, oh my God. Like there was definitely my body definitely changed. I leaned out. And that's what I've been looking for for a long time was to lean out. Um, and I mean, my energy, my clarity, um, I don't stop. And I can tell you that when I hit the pillow at night, I'm out, out. Like, that, do you find yourself going to sleep faster? Uh, count to, th yeah. I mean, I sleep, I sleep good anyway. I'm, I'm definitely spoiled, you know, there, but, um, I hit the pillow and you can count to 10 and I'm out. So, but my I mean, day start early. So I loved, um, when I was introduced to the program initially 17 years ago, I had that amazing, Oh my God, I got my first good night's sleep in I don't know how long. Right. Um, but I was one of those individuals where I took my corporate job with me to bed and I worked all night, you know, and I, I mean, it literally, I was problem solving thinking I could never shut my brain off. And yeah. The neat thing with this program, I find, is that I get around 10 o'clock, 1030, and it's lights out. I mean, I don't have a choice. It's like, I'm either going to fall asleep right here in this room, or I better get my butt to bed because um, I'm turning, I'm, I'm literally, my body's shutting down. 
But the other part of it is I'm finding that I'm getting up even earlier without an alarm clock. I'm waking up at 445, 5 o'clock. And when I wake up, it isn't one of those where I can roll over and go back to sleep. Have you noticed that? Is it something where are you a person that just jumps right out of bed? Yeah, I, I can jump right out of bed if I get um, to bed early enough. Because again, okay. I start my day at like 530 and I really should be done with my day at like nine. Now, but fortunately, are you, do, always... are you doing the butter coffee? Are you doing our bullet I am, coffee? I am. I am. Okay. And I'm not a coffee drinker, but it's something else to drink. And then sometimes, you know, I'm a little cooler living with five guys in my house. I have my husband and my four sons. So there's a tendency in my house to be a little cooler and I'm the one who freezes. So, you know, something warm is always good for me. And yes, I've been dropped. Do, I love the ice of coffee. Um, it's, it's low acidity and trace minerals and coconut oil. So what could, you know, what could be bad and then dropping okay. that little bit of butter in there. It's, it's awesome. I'm, I joke that I, I was a professional coffee drinker as a stockbroker. I was drinking like ridiculous amounts of coffee, 15, 20 cups of coffee, but I started at 4.30 in the morning and I was still drinking coffee at eight at night. So it's not that hard to get that much in. Right. Especially when you have Starbucks venties, but my dad was a Marine. So I was told from a teenager on that if you're gonna drink coffee, you're gonna drink it black because they don't have cream and sugar in foxholes. That was literally his saying. So um, I had to drink, I learned how to drink it black. So I literally started off very slow with the butter, like putting maybe a half a teaspoon in because it was kind of like one of these weird things. And I put like a half a teaspoon in and I found myself putting a full teaspoon, heaping teaspoon, a tablespoon. And then I remember calling Jesse up, asking him, how much butter can I have? And because I was worried that I only saw like he had 12 teaspoons. And he goes, no, where'd you get that, dude? He goes, I have way more than that. He goes, I haven't that at least 12 heaping tablespoons, but probably more than that. I'm like, really? Oh, good. That's great. So I made a joke about this in our group about butter creep. And what I meant by that, not that butter's creepy, but it slowly, my addiction wasn't the coffee because I keep it to my one cup, sometimes two, Sean, I'm sorry, but it's my delivery vehicle for butter. And I find that I'm taking bigger and bigger chunks of butter to go with my coffee in the morning. Have you noticed anything like that? Um, what I do is I just take, you know, I get the blocks of the butter and I um, take a couple slivers of it um, with a knife and I just drop it in my coffee. So, okay. I'm just joking with you. So one of the <laughs> things I did want to ask you though is um, have you noticed a change in your outlook, your happiness, uh, your mood, has that changed at all with this type of a program, with this, you know, being more fat yeah, adaptive? I feel like it keeps you like even, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. there's no, there's not a lot of highs and lows. And I feel like it's helping a lot of people that I have, you know, shared this with in that respect, um, as well as um, something that really, you know, warms my heart is when someone struggles with something um, like, you know, a lot of bloating, a lot of cramping, and it's something that they deal with, you know, as something that they suffer from on a daily for years. And I have a friend of mine who I shared this with, and she used to have bouts every single solitary day. And since starting the ER shred, she hasn't had one issue like that in the morning anymore. So when, when you get, you know, non-scale victories like that, you know, mm -hmm. non-scale results, like, to me, that's like so heartwarming because I feel like, you know, you've got to share this. You, you, can't, you can't share this with someone and get results like that and not want to just keep sharing it because you're, you know, you're not doing that injustice if you don't share it, <laughs> you know? It's almost selfish it not to share it, right? Pain. Yeah, it's, it's my job to, to share this because it's changing people's lives on so many levels. And that I often, my heart. So you've heard of the, you've heard of the, you're old, you're old enough. You've heard of the comment before that communication is 80% of it's nonverbal. You've heard of that concept, right? Right. Okay. So I know that when they say that, what people are buying, they're buying your emotion, but they're buying your energy. And that's why I wanted to ask that particular question. Cause I noticed in me, I went from the grumpy old man, literally acting like the Grinch, you know, short tempered, angry, whatever at times, or just finding myself um, stuck in 
uh, whatever was going on in the world. I had to be, uh, even though I wasn't actively managing other people's money, I was still involved watching all the geopolitical news, markets, all that stuff I stayed up on. The biggest change in me that I noticed with my mindset is that I literally just stopped watching the news and it happened right around November, about halfway in that I got lit up right around day seven, day eight, it was like November 2nd. Um, I just stopped watching the news. And then shortly after that, Sean made the comment of, hey, try to get off that for two weeks and see what happens. Um, one of the benefits that I'm seeing in our Shredder Nation is that we're all getting a second chance at the same time. It's literally like a brand new company in that we all feel different. So when I thought I was feeling an eight out of a 10 previously, right. I was telling Sean, I feel like I'm a 20 out of a 20. But what's happening is that that's showing up in my life from my family, my relations with my wife. I think my stepkids even like me now. Um, I hope they always like me, but I don't know if they watch this. <laughs> but I'm just saying, but even doing lives in the, in the backyard, I've noticed there's a huge change in my energy. And as such, I'm beginning for the first time attracting people like, what the heck are you doing? And literally, I'm doing the same thing, but with some amazing tweaks, right? Um, as I see this is that when you share it with other people, are they organically coming back to you after their results? Are they coming in saying that, oh my gosh, Lisa, I've never felt this good before. How do you, pro do you have to prompt them to share or are they organically telling others? Well, I'm keeping in touch with um, anybody that I'm coaching and I'm asking them, you know, how, how you doing? How you feeling? Do you have any questions? And, you know, the reports back are, you know, I'm feeling good, i losing bloat, I'm feeling, uh, you know, clearer. Um, some people are saying, you know, they notice it, they're, they're don't, they don't want to get on a scale. Um, so they're definitely having some non-scale, you know, victories, which are amazing, you know, just watching the transformation. And I spoke to somebody today, and she's uh, as she's feeling some, you know, things and she hasn't gotten on a scale. So it's, it, it's, it's awesome to hear what the changes that people are feeling, whether it be, you know, clarity or their, you know, their clothes are looser or they're not seeing their knuckles being as swollen as they were, um, you know, different things, a lot of inflammation going down. And that's, that's definitely a key component here. You know, um, that, that was one thing. inflammation. So. I loved it when um, it was actually, uh, well, P Peter Greenlaw is the person who brought me in. A lot of people know who Peter is. Um, he literally wrote a book called the Tito Syndrome, but he based it on the University of Illinois Chicago study of these products. And in that, literally in the study, it outlined it. It addresses toxicity, deficiency of nutrition, stress, inflammation, and oh, by the a byproduct of that is you'll lose weight. So the thing at the time was is that we were nervous about using the word inflammation. So we were told we couldn't use the word. And that's a big one. I mean, but TDOS is basically stress, deficiency of nutrition and toxicity. I think that with the ER shred by eliminating, with the ER component, with the elimination component, by eliminating the carbs in the front end, we're accelerating the results just at an exceptional rate, but we're supporting people in a very short period of time, as you said, seeing a reduction in that swelling or that inflammation. And I know a lot of people talk about uneasiness. I'm getting older. I mean, my aches and pains, my old injuries, be it from a separated shoulder to my knees, to my ankles, um, you know, sleeping at night was always difficult because you had to roll around. I could never stay in one position too long, but um, I've seen, my level of uh, discomfort, if you will, literally go away to where I almost feel like I'm a, you know, I'm a 20 year old again, which is pretty cool. When, what I'm hoping for is that when people get that excitement and they see the difference in themselves, and they start sharing it with others. You mentioned you were coaching them. Have you found a difference when coaching people previous to the ER shred versus to today? Do you find it less, more, is it any different when people are in the program? I feel people are finding the ER shred really easy to, to follow. I feel like it's definitely keeping them more focused easily. I really mm -hmm. do. Um, I know it's definitely helped me um, in that respect. And I feel like 
a lot of people are benefiting from that. And I'm also getting them, you know, doing the isobody challenge. So that helps them keep them accountable and, you know, watching their transformation that way is, is great also. Uh, you know, the little victories as they go help you, you know, stay focused and want to just keep going. Have you found that you're not um, having to work, ha answer as many questions on a four to 600 calorie meal or what can I eat? Yes, that's um, for sure. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's pretty simple. Have a steak. Yeah. So like, what else can I have? I go, have two steaks, right. you know, add right. more butter. I said, put what you want. You know, I said to someone today that because they weren't eating enough and they were afraid. And I said, look, I'll put four scallops on my plate. I'll put a filet on my plate. I'll put two eggs on my plate and a couple strips of bacon. It's all good. Eat what you can and don't, you know, necessarily limit yourself because at the same time, you don't want to slow down the metabolism and you're allowed to have it. It's your one meal besides your, you know, your two incubated shakes. So enjoy. <laughs> have you used the uh, group also from a standpoint of putting prospects in people Absolutely. who are kicking the tires? Every single time. Yeah. The, the group, okay. the shred group. Yes. I add everybody to that because I think it's really good for everyone. Like we can learn something from that every day. You might see someone's question that might've been of interest to you and you, you learn from that. So well, I really, I really want to mention okay. that for the people, I really wanted to mention that for the people who are kind of new to this or kicking the tires, because this is so unique and different. I know I could speak from my own experience. Um, you know, I was, as I mentioned, Peter came in, he was taught by Tony Escobar. We coached everybody and it was very much hands-on and I had no problem doing that, but it was, it was, it was a labor. I mean, you literally had to carry people over the finish line. It was constantly, what can I eat? You know, how much of what, what vegetable? I mean, you know, you felt like you had to be a registered dietitian or nutritionist, which we're not, but at the same time, it was just like, my God, I'm not a chef and, you know, figure it out. But what I'm finding with the ER shred is that it's so simple, easy that anybody can do it. Yeah. So now I feel like the Maytag repairman, no one's calling me. And I just have to sit back and cheerlead, which is the yep. coolest part anyway. This is the part that I love. Right. Celebrating people's successes, uh, giving them atta girls and atta boys. And literally that's in the group is phenomenal for that as well. I've never seen um, a community quite like this where we come from all areas of the company. Most of us, you know, we're not financially connected yet. I think we have, as Sean said, he's, he's great at building community. I would say that he's, the best person I've ever met at building community in that we've created um, a like-minded group that is high spirited, that's focused on paying it forward. So with that, where do you see, where, what is your Lisa's goal for the next year? Where do you see, I know you said that you were doing this for your, in, in, you know, not only for yourself, but you were doing it in honor of your mother. Your mom would like to see you be successful with this. Where do you see yourself uh, this year? And where do you see yourself, let's say three years, five years from now? What would you like to see out of ER Shred? I, or your new chance? My what? Your second chance. <laughs> I look at it as a second chance. Yeah. I plan on continuing to do what I'm doing now in the respect of sharing it with everybody that I come in contact with and hoping that they will share it with everyone they come in contact with. And all you have to do is put it in your and you'll understand. But again, as I've said to you before, and I you know, said is just like R-E-S-P-E-C-T, you gotta be R-E-A-D-Y. And you meet people where they are and when they're ready, they'll start. And th with this ER Shred, I feel like it's just something that is so helpful and so easy, like you said, and it's just, you know, writ written out, follow it. I will help guide you and be there for you. You know, anyone on my, you know, that I bring in and introduce this to, I'm there for them and they know that. And I just wanna, you know, I wanna build it and I wanna help every single person that I can. And, I, and they know, people know, and like I had a girls finish this past week and I posted how you know they were so happy with how I coached them and motivated them and they did the 11 days and they got the results that they were looking for and they're very happy. And nothing gives me greater pleasure than if I can guide somebody and they get the results they're looking for. 
So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and, and hope to share it, you know, every day more and more. I mean, that's, that, that's true. That's beautiful. I mean, exactly how you put it. And I think that's quite unique in that this is a business call. And I kind of threw up a, a, a freebie there to see what you would say, but you mentioned nothing about income or a level that you wanted to achieve. You mentioned about helping others get what they want. Um, I think that's so, so, so important. And that if there's one thing that people, if they can come away with one thing tonight from a messaging standpoint, that's so critical. If we can help others get what they want, we in turn will be successful. And um, that's what I love about ER Shred. And I think that our community, I think resonates that. I think people literally truly care about our individual success with the product. And I do understand that if we have the, the we get lit as Jesse says, and we literally get so excited, you want to scream it from the rooftops. And I know you said that to me earlier. I said that myself, like, oh my God, I can't believe how good I feel. Um, if we can just continue paying it forward, I know the income is, is unlimited. And that's, you know, without getting into numbers, I guess one of the biggest obstacles I look at, and it's hurtful, and maybe it's my background. I, I manage money for others. And at the end of the day, if you're gonna be successful in my industry, you know, I wasn't helping the Joneses put their kids through college. I was helping very wealthy people get immensely rich because they were starting with me with two to $5 million to invest. And then I'm growing it and they wanted the best returns that they could get. But my point being is that, you know, I was making rich people richer, not that there's anything wrong with it, but from my, when I looked at it from what is my purpose and, you know, what am I here for? Um, I felt a little bit of a disconnect, but at the same time with this program, and I'm trying to put it in the words, is that I have the opportunity to get myself healthy. I get the opportunity to share something that is a gift that is priceless because you can't take that for granted. And as we get older, knock on wood, we see a lot of our friends that are suffering and you, you just wish that they would only take a look, right? Um, but I also know that you know the economy goes through cycles and we go through some good times, we go through bad times. But I think that our economy is evolving at an ever faster rate because of technology, because of Zoom. Um, people being basically uh, retired early, if you will. People are finding that their job's not needed anymore, be it for technology. Um, if you're, especially if you're in the retail industry or if you're in the service business or if you're in the, you know, you're in the checkout, line, you know, whatever, the people that work the stores. I look at this as the single best opportunity that I've ever seen and I'm having a hard time. That's why I'm gonna ask people like yourself is when you look at what's possible, with this program in terms of regaining your health, but also understand you get to work when you want, you get to live where you want, you get to basically take vacation, you can do what you want when you want, that's so-called freedom, right? Right, right? But then you have the opportunity of unlimited, uncapped, no glass ceilings, as far as your you know, income potential. I mean, who wouldn't want to do this? So I think a big aspect of this is we want to build, we can only grow as large as our vision is. So, I mean, initially, maybe I just want to get my products paid for, and that might be a big goal. The beauty of this business model is that if everybody on this call just got their products paid for and paid it forward and got two other people to get their products paid for, um, everybody would be immensely successful with this, right? And with that, people, the light bulb does go off and you think, oh, wow, I can have a a bigger impact. I can have a greater impact. So your boys, all four of them, are, they're all grown now. Are they all through college? Are they all on their own? Three under my roof and I have one that got married. And okay. Yeah. He's in PA school and I have one that's um, in uh, paramedic school and one uh, that's working full-time and another that's working full-time and going to school. So yeah. So right now, you know, they're, they're definitely um, using the products and, um, and enjoying, you know, the healthy lifestyle at home and hopefully they'll carry it out and they do share it with their friends. As a matter of fact, one of my kids has a friend in Australia that um, just asked me for a product. <laughs> 
So, wow. you know, I hope I'm rubbing off on them a little bit. I mean, they definitely see their, their mother nonstop sharing and, and caring about everybody else and what everybody else is, you know, feeding themselves. Cause you know, nothing gives me greater pleasure than to help somebody else. That's just how I live my life. And I think my kids see that every day. Well, I do look at, um, the people who became before us, be it Tony and Randy Escobar uh, or someone like Jimmy Smith, who started at the age of 74. Um, obviously, it's not too late. It gives me hope because I no longer worry about my retirement or worry about, you know, how am I going to live? I just think if I have my health and I am able to communicate, I now have a system that's so simple, easy, and I've got the best community in the world to support me in this endeavor. Um, really the sky's the limit. And that's where I get excited about because not only can I help people with their health, but I'm going to be able to help people hopefully give them another alternative stream of income. Right. And it doesn't matter if you listen to Robert Kiyosaki or if it's any other, you know, financial guru, they're going to tell you having multiple streams of income is critical because you don't want to be dependent upon just one. Um, I looked at your boys. I was thinking more of four boys, like getting you out of the household and going through college and just being a huge expense at the moment. Um, so you're not isogenics. You are, you're sharing it. You're not necessarily looking at it as a way to rebuild your retirement. You're not necessarily looking at it as a way, cause you're obviously you say you sold health insurance. What do you look at this second stream of income as, I mean, do you have, I mean, are you, looking at it as a goal or just yeah i mean i'm looking to to build that but first and foremost i like i guess i that's not like my first thing my first thing okay. is i can share this with somebody and it can really improve how they feel and i know that you know health has definitely always been a concern and even more so a concern because mm -hmm. of my mom um, battled and my mother was a healthy 74 year old in in good health health and in good right. shape and unfortunately you know cancer got to her and she did the things that she she went to her regular routine exams this was just one of those things so did it scare me a little bit yeah it scared me a little you know a lot of it mm -hmm. and you know I my concern I guess I get a little emotional and I get a little attached and I care about everybody else and want to make sure that they're doing everything they can, but I can't make somebody, but at the same time I can, you know, explain it and share it. And then you got to meet them where they are. And if they're ready, they're ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had somebody that uh, joined me on the shred, I guess it was two shreds ago. So like a month ago and, you know, actually it was a couple people and they, um, we're watching me for the past, you know, like 10, 12 years. And she um, did two of the shreds and she said, well, she sent me a text and she said, well, I can tell you that I'm a forever two shake girl. <laughs> so, wow. you know, like that, you know, gives me great pleasure. And again, you know, you just got to, you know, that, that <laughs> was one of Sean's original hopes. I mean, one of it was he wanted to, um, kind of cement John Anderson's legacy with a core system. You know, we're changing lives, we're making a difference, we're having an impact. But the other one was, what can we do to help people see the light so that we could get them to where they wanted, they desired to have at least one or two shakes a day for the rest of their life? If that's all we did, we would literally change the world. I mean, I, that's how powerful shakes are. So that's just wonderful what you just said. And that is, I mean, I would die if I look at the thousands of people down in my organization, if just people had just stuck with one shake a day, it would be remarkable. You had mentioned to me earlier, and I think this is something that a lot of us, including myself, um, used to get hung up on. Um, and that is when someone tells you no, um, it just means they're not ready yet. So you mentioned you've got, you had three or four of your friends join you just recently with the ER shred, but they had been watching you for the last 12 years. Yep. Okay. And that's why I say, you know, it doesn't 
So no doesn't mean no, no means I'm just not ready right now. And when I am, I'll let you know. And that's fine. I'm good with that. So in staying, you obviously don't burn bridges with, the, with your people when you share it. I'm not judging. And well, that's, that's key. No prejudgment. And then right. the other one, um, obviously, is you stay connected, which is the follow-up. You obviously have stayed in, con in contact with your friends that you've shared in the past. I know we're getting towards the end here, but when you look at the things that you've done, you've done a lot of things right. Um, but if you had words of advice for anybody who's brand new or who's been in it for a while um, and taking a look at the ER shred, either from the standpoint of sharing it, because this is really what it's all about. Sharing is caring. And that's what we talk about in our ER, ER shred.biz. We focus on the stories and it really isn't about the income. It's about paying it forward and getting what others want. And if you can share with others and help them do the same, that's really all this business is. So are there any other key things that you would like to share that have been successful for you with ER Shred or for your friends who might be thinking about it? Because I know you've said you got a lot of people watching this. So I say be positive, be patient. And when the time is right, that's when whoever it might be will come along because we have something here that is absolutely awesome. And anybody, you know, that doesn't want to try it at this time, that doesn't mean that they're not going to be wanting to try it at a different time. So always just stay positive and be open-minded and just keep sharing because Again, we have something here that's just awesome and this culture and what we have, I've never seen anything quite like it. And, you know, our leaders in this and, you know, thank you to Sean and Crystal and Jesse and Susan and thank you, Bob. I mean, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome. I can't say it's enough about it. And it, it just, uh, it lights me up. You know, I've, I got to give Jesse a, a shout out. I'm reading, um, actually, because of my new two-year-old, well, he's not two-year-old. He acts like a two-year-old, but I've got a, a puppy that's a rescue that probably had a hard life before coming to me. Um, he's a challenge. That said, um, I'm not able to sit down and read a book like I would like to, because as soon as I'm, he's upstairs locked in a room somewhere with my wife right now. But if, you know, he, he will not let me alone. So I'm listening to Audible, but I'm listening to um, basically think like I'm not a monk. Then this is the book that uh, Jesse is now reading, which is phenomenal. So with these long walks and trying to work the energy out of the puppy, I've been listening to this amazing book. He talks about your dharma, talks about your passion, a lot of the things we've heard about. But this is something that I know is true. And that is when you can find something that lights you up that you can become passionate about, um, it doesn't seem like work at all. So I know you, you complimented, um, you know, myself and Jesse and Sean and Crystal, of course, but, and all of the people who've been giving themselves selfishly from Heather, I mean, Adam and Kimber, and you can go on and on, Olivier with the now site. My point being is that we're having so much fun. I would say without a doubt, all of us don't look at this as work. And that is we found our passion yep. and it lights us up. And the fun part is I'm watching all of you on this program, be it, you know, from April um, to yourself, Lisa. I mean, we're all looking great since the year shred. I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking, I don't know if it's the, it's the combination, if it's the peanut butter and jelly, or maybe there is some magic in the butter. I don't know, but um, we're looking younger, feeling good. And um, I just want to thank you for tonight. We're coming up with a couple minutes left, but I want to really thank you from the bottom of my heart for being the trailblazer and putting up with me tonight. Um, I hope that with time, I got, I think we got an hour in, I've got 9,999 more to go, Sean, before I'm an expert at this. So <laughs> give me, some, give me a little bit of uh, slack, but I really do appreciate you coming on and being the first. And with that, Lisa, would you be willing to come back and share with us maybe where you are three months down the road, as far as your journey with the air shred? Absolutely. And again, and one of the things I also wanted to say is be authentic, be yourself, just, you know, like share what you got because you got something here. That's pretty awesome. So well, don't leverage, back. absolutely leverage the groups, 
leverage the team environment. Uh, I know that the energy in ER Shred, the ER Shred Nation is unbelievable. I'm hoping we can light a fire in ERShred.biz. Just from the standpoint of it lights me up if I can help people get their products paid for, I know then it's who would who would ever get off this product if it was free, right? Well, that's, and that's we nobody. Have. Right. And that's that's like the isobody. I mean, if you're saying to somebody, all you have to do is get started and 16 weeks later, we're, we have, a, we have a, pro, a culture here and a product line that actually gives you back $200 in free product and help, helps keep you accountable. Who does that? Who does that? $200 in free product helps you be accountable for 16 weeks. And oh, it's, it's just awesome. I've, I've, it's awesome. I've literally become like overly OCD about it. Yeah, right. like I'm not, I mean, I, I just got my box. I just got my two hundred dollars today, <laughs> and I was literally on my wife. Okay, when's yours coming up? Okay, you ready to get started again? Because I take my finished pictures and I just reload them right back up as my fresh start immediately for the next shred or next, I'm sorry, the next challenge. And you can get three of these a year, six hundred dollars per person. That's twelve hundred dollars a couple of free, right. just unbelievable nutrition. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know who I don't know the, another company that does it like that, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. Wonderful. Know. Well, everybody, we're at the top of the hour. I, if there's any questions, let's go through here. I'm sure. And thank that, you for having me. Did well. for me, of course. Well, hold on, don't leave me. I'm not. Um, <laughs> can't hear anybody. Is it my computer connection? Oh gosh. I hope. Let's see here. Carol Taylor. We got the earnings disclaimers. A um, lot of thank yous. Um, that's, that's, there's a whole chat chain here. If I can figure out how Sean did this, I'm going to copy this, Lisa, for you. And you. Um, everyone says thank you from the bottom of their heart. And I want to appreciate everyone on the call tonight. We will light this bonfire and hopefully we'll grow it as big as the ER Shred Nation because I can't imagine anybody who would not want to share this goodness. Thank anyway. you, Olivier, because he's uh, helping guide us with uh, this social media platform, and it's pretty awesome. And, it is. Yep, and it's and phenomenal. And his great ideas and his great posts. So thank you to you guys, because that helps um, guide us, too. And, gives, and uh, Adam's, gives Adam and Olivier are, are doing a great job with the site and, you know, shredderizing everything. But uh, yep. no, it's been, it's been a labor <laughs> love. It's been fun. Well, guys, good. have a great evening. Uh, we will see you same time next week on Thursday. And Lisa, best of luck to you. You've got my contact information. Yep. Obviously, if we can help you in any way and support you, please let us know. I know we didn't get into like the nitty gritty of doing like a three-way text, which is kind of the new way, the old three-way call where you put, put somebody on a text chain. But if there's anybody I know for myself included, I'm sure anybody in the air should be willing to connect with you if you found a story that was relatable to that person. We're all here to help. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, thank you, everyone. And thanks for joining. And this is a wrap, as they would say. All right. That's a wrap. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your support. Good night, everyone. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.